Welcome back everyone to Tabletop Assault. I'm David. I'm Ross. And today we're going to bring you one of our Kill Team Battle Reports. Uh, I'm going to be running Tau Kill Team again, see how they fare up. And I'll be using Necrons. So today we are going to be playing Infiltrate the Camp. How that works is that there is an attacker and a defender. The attacker scores points by getting uh, models off the, uh, the opponent's side of the board. Mm -hmm. So you get one victory point for each model. However, the defender gets one victory point for each uh, basically, if you kill three models, you get one victory point. Yeah. So it's important to get those models off the field, and it's important to obviously kill them back. Uh, the attack automatically gets first turn, and then you obviously have usual stuff such as first blood and slay leader, leader and be, night fighting. Is night fighting, but you don't get line breaker because yeah. the whole point of this game is to get behind. Yeah. So with that, let's have a look at the forces. We have here our Necron kill team. Uh, pretty simple, we have 10 Necron Warriors and 3 Chronoptic Scarabs. Number 6 represents the Necron Warrior Leader. Number 1 represents Necron Weapon Specialist who has Eagle Eye. Necron, uh, number 2 is Necron Warrior Combat Specialist with Counter Attack. And number 3 is Necron Warrior Gorilla Specialist with Preferred Enemy. And that is our Necron Kill Team. So this is my 200 point Tau kill team to take on the Necrons. So I have 11 strike team with 2 gun drones and 11 crews with sniper rifles. So uh, marker number 1 is my weapon specialist with expert shot. Marker number 2 is my gorilla specialist with preferred enemy. And gorilla number 3 is my indomitable specialist with feel no pain. And marker 6, that's my leader. Really simple kill team, lots of guns. Let's uh, let's go and show you the table. So David won the roll off to see who was the attacker and who was the defender. David has decided to be the defender, and so thus I am attacking. I have to deploy first, but it does mean I do get to go first unless David David seizes. So have I deployed? Well, pretty much as close to the edge as I possibly can. Uh, where's my specialist? I've got a specialist here, number two. Number three, number one, and my leader. So it's sort of simple, move forward, try and endure the Tau shots and get to the other line. Let's have a look at the Tau deploy deployment. Right, this is my kill team. So we have a mass combination of models. Now my warlord, uh, he rolled outflank, like any help that's going to be. But yeah, we've just got a ton of mix of Fire Warriors and Kroot. There's my Expert Shot. Uh, there is my um, Preferred Enemy, sorry, Indomitable Specialist and Gorilla Specialists. And yeah, just some more Kroot. We've just basically spread out. We're forcing Necrons to move forward and we've actually cheekily moved out of the 30 inch threat range. Sorry, Ross. Quite, quite cheesy of me. But otherwise, that's the deployment. Um, I'm going to quickly show you, we usually show you the board before we do this, but we forgot to this time. So this is actually the board we're playing on. Very similar to the usual ones, kind of city, middle of the road. This side is the camp. Uh, again, beautiful terrain, we managed to get some from people online. But with that, I'm going to roll for night fighting. Well, I'm going to roll for night fighting. Yeah, sure, you're going to roll for night fighting. I'll roll for night fighting. Which does not go on. on. And season issue on a 6+. plus. Nope. So, Necrons. Turn one. So as David said, it is the Necron's turn one, and he's ensured that I will not be able to shoot in turn one. Thanks, You've done that David. to me before. I have done that to you before, and uh, so I'm not really judging yeah. you in this one. Okay. Uh, uh, so with that I'm just going to move forward, probably do my run moves if I don't have anything else, and end my turn. So yeah, finished my entire turn, what efficient turn it was. Uh, I just ran everything, uh, you'll be able to see what I've done. Really, really successful uh, moves for running. I got on average probably four, if not yeah. higher. So you can see everything has moved roughly about 10 inches, which is fantastic. Uh, yeah, fantastic. We've got one Scarab Swarm down here. I just wanted to make sure that David really couldn't see him. Mm -hmm. And then we have another one just round here as well. So really nice, really, really helpful. Uh, with that, I'm done. Let's have a look at Tau turn one. Tau 
Tile turn one. Um, Ross has moved everything up. I'm probably not going to move anything really. I'm just going to shoot. That's Good it. call. Let's go shoot. We've got to defend the camp, guys. That's the same of the game. So yeah, I'll do what movement I plan to do, and we'll come back and show what it looks like. So we've not done much movement, pretty minimal. Everything here stayed the same. Uh, however, we did move up six inches with these two drones, just so their 18-inch car uh, plus carbines can be in range. Down here, this guy's gone an inch. I didn't roll his move through cover. It was only an inch move. That's all it needs. And we're actually out of range from this sniper rifle poking through here, pretty menacingly. Uh, he's moved an inch, so he will be snap firing. With that, that is the end of the movement phase. Let's start shooting a ton of ice. Now I know we're supposed to do each shots individually as different units, but hey, in the interest of quickness, these two guys are going to shoot at this out in the open Necron Warrior. Yep. So we're forced to hit. That's two hits. We are sniper, so forced to win sixes round. Oh, nothing. Uh, these two guys are actually going to shoot the same target. So no hits there. Pulse Carbine is going to shoot the same target. I can see a trend here, by the way. I'm hoping for it. Uh, these are fives to hit, though. So one hit. These are strength five, so threes to wind. Oh. Right. Uh, I'm going to shoot. I'm going to go with all four sniper rifles on that guy. All four? Well, because the rest aren't in range of any other models. That's a good call. So all four. We get no what? hits. Pulse Carbine from him onto the Necron Warrior. No, no hits. hits. So this chunk here has failed to do any damage. Let's uh, rethink this. Right, on to some Fire Warriors. So this Fire Warrior with Expert Shot and this Fire Warrior with Feel No Pain are both going to shoot their shots at your number three preferred enemy. Whoa. Now the red is going to be hitting on threes, fours of the white. Okay, so we get one hit and threes to wind. It's a wind. It's a wind. I do get my normal four of armor save. Five up reanimation. This could be first blood. Oh. Not yet. I need to plan the next ones. So my preferred enemy fire warrior and my normal fire warrior here, they're both going to fire over onto your eagle-eyed necron warrior. Yep. So um, actually, the red die here is preferred enemy shot. Cool. Okay, so one hit, three's to wind. It's a wind. It's a wind, I do get my normal four up save. Oh no, Which I make. this is not looking good for me. Uh, we're going to keep going down the conga line. Next two guys shooting on your eagle enemy. Yep. Eagle eye. For one hit. For a wound. Whoa. Five up save. Five up reanimation. Made it. Oh no. Uh, so we're now down to here. These two are going to shoot at him as well. Okay. Two hits. One wound. Made oh, the save. No, this is not looking good. Next two guys, and then we'll stop there. So next two. One hit. One wound. Oh, can he do him? No. <laughs> Let's pause here. So my leader is going to shoot his pulse rifle again at your eagle-eyed Necron Warrior. You're quite determined for him to die. Just in range, so he hits. He causes a wound. What up save. Five up reanimation, and you go. So we do get first blood, but that should have happened a long time ago. It should have. We're almost finished. These two are going to fire onto your Necron Warrior out front. Now, the red dice is for the snap firing one, because him he moved when mm -hmm. he used the sniper round. So do you get one hit? Do you get wounds? No, nope, it's sniper, so it's four plus. Oh, is this your snipers? Yeah. Oh. And this sniper is going to take a cheeky pot shot down the tunnel at one of your scarabs. Okay, sounds good. We hit. We wound. Uh, six up. Six up, do you not have any AP at all? It's sniper. I needed to roll rending to get an AP. Oh, okay, okay. Nope, uh, so one of them is down to two wounds? Yeah. Right, that brings an end to, I'm going to call it, a really poor shooting phase for Tal. That was terrible. We got rid of one of your specialists, your eagle eye, and got rid of a wound off your scarabs. But, um, yeah, let's see what Necrons do in their turn two.
So what can be argued as a very abysmal turn for David there? Uh, one Necron Warrior and one Wound of a Scarab? Come on David, you're better than that. Shh. <laughs> uh, so it's going to be simple for me. I'm going to move forward. I was debating whether like just keep running. But the problem with that is he's, David's developed such a line that in order to stop me, all he really needs to do is at the last couple of turns is just charge. Yeah. And he'll stop me. So I need to weld down his ranks a wee bit, hopefully open up some holes, try and break through. So let's move forward and then see where we end up. So we have finished our movement phase, going to start off with the scarabs. I, I moved two of them just a very short distance to there and then one did run and they're all bunched up like that. Hopefully for next turn I'm going to get a really good result. As for the next Necron Warriors, they've all moved forward to a degree. One totally did fluff it, he's uh, stuck behind there, tried to move through cover and failed. So he'll have to run but the rest of them have moved forward a wee bit. So with that, let's move on to the Necron shooting phase. So we're going to start with this Necron Warrior, who's going to target this crew here. Mm -hmm. And in threes to it, which we do, and then threes to kill, which so we do. So he is dead, he ignores his armour. We'll then go with number two, who is my counter-attacker, he's going to target this crew here. Go for it. Threes to it. And then threes to wounds. So that'll be an R1 gone. Mm -hmm. um, just going to quickly check the side, but I do think this number one, which is preferred enemy, should have a line of sight of him. Yeah, he should be fine. Yeah, so we're going at threes. And threes again. So that's Norkrook gone. He's gone. And then I have two Necron Warriors here. I'm going to have a look at line of sights and see what we've got. Oh, no, definitely. Oh, have you got line of sight of him? Yeah, but there's meh, terrain, terrain in the way. Ah, right. So, so yeah, five up, five cover up. safe. Cool, I'll fire one quickly. Three up. Doesn't matter. And the second one also doesn't matter. Well, that's that squad done. So we're going to begin with this guy next, he's going to target David's expert shot. So I'm in three step. And we're in three to wounds. So we do have a wounds, but you do get your normal four up armor safe. Which you absolutely make. Mm -hmm. Put another shot into him from this guy. Mm -hmm. Which hits. And three to wounds. Uh, which does not. And then my leader's going to have a crack at him. Mm -hmm. But my leader's not having any of it. Well, the last thing I've got to do is a run move with this Necron Warrior here to jump in the building. Now he decides to move. Just to let the people know, we did actually do your run moves already with the Scarabs. Oh yeah, we did one because the rest of them were just moving away. I did see that earlier on. So they're hiding in there. We'll move him around there. It gives me a good wee team on that side. Other than that, that is me done my turn. So with that, let's have a look at what the Tau can fire back. Okay, we're going to try a second round of shooting with Tao. The first round was really poor. Hopefully we get some luck. Uh, I'm going to do some movements, minimal movements I think, and uh, we'll show you what it looks like. So some movements, we've retreated these drones a little bit. And then more importantly down here, my leader's just moved slightly up to get better line of sight and we've conga lined these guys. Uh, we're going to use their pulse rounds and their crit rifles this time, which is rapid fire guns. So even though they move, they can still shoot. And we're going to be trying to pick off some of your scarabs that are hiding in the building. Ooh. Speaking of shooting, let's move on. So my group of three crits are going to shoot the middle scarab that's actually in two wounds, yeah? Yep, sounds like a plan. I've got two of them in rapid fire range. I'm going to just shoot them all. Yep. So we've got five shots. We are hitting on fours. <laughs> oh no. Well, I wasn't confident we were going to cause any damage there. Uh, and then strength four, so threes to wounds. You get your four up rune save. Yep, I'll happily take it. Which I won't make. So you're down to one wound. Yep. So we're going to use these two crew here to shoot their sniper rounds onto this out in the open warrior. Mm -hmm. So we are forced to hit. Oh nice. We are sniper rounds. Oh nice. Okay, so one wound and one rend. Uh, so we'll do the rend first. Five up. Oh. Made it. And then we'll do the normal one. Made that too. <sighs> like so casually there. Uh, the next two will repeat the same thing. Okay. Uh, one hit. Mm-hmm. Nothing. Okay, this gun drone. In fact, no, he'll shoot his sniper round actually at the same guy. Sounds good. No, you won't. Nothing. Right, gun drone A into the same Necron Warrior. We get no hits. Gun drone B into the same Necron Warrior. We get one hit. It's these to wound. <laughs> it's happening all over again. This flank is not doing you any, any good. 
So this Tau Fire Warrior with Feel No Pain is going to shoot at your preferred enemy, yep. Necrom Warrior. Um, I need to stop this advance somehow. That's not a good way to start it. That was a two. Let's uh, rethink this strategy. Right, we're not killing enough, so I need to start putting points on the board. This Tau Fire Warrior uh, with the preferred enemy is going to shoot at your leader. Oh no. Six. So force to hit. Not a good start. I'm going to do this in twos now. These two guys are going to shoot at your leader. That's nice. two hits. Threes to wound. That's one wound. One wound. Four up armor save. Oh, five up reanimation. The leader is gone. I'll take it. These two fire warriors are now going to go back to shooting at your preferred enemy Necron. Yep. So threes to hit. Sorry, fours to hit. Oh. Threes to wound. That's two wounds. Go. Cool. For the enemy. You made it. Right, we're going to go down to these next two fire warriors here. Again, same target. Mm -hmm. No hits. And the last two on your preferred enemy. That's my leader and last fire warrior. One hit. It's a wound. It's a wound. On, it on. can do it. Four up save. <laughs> Not today. Uh, that's the end of my shooting. I'm just going to do some quick assault moves and we'll, we'll recap the turn. That's the end of uh, Necron, sorry, Tau, turn two. Uh, it's not going well, really isn't going well. The advance of the Necrons is just moving up. I've got rid of, what, two Fire Warriors and a couple of Wounds Awesome Scarabs? Yeah. It's not going good. They get your leader though. So yeah, that yeah. That is helpful. So if I can maybe somehow break you, it might help. However, Necrons turn two, let's see what they can do. So we're now actually on to Necron turn 3. My bad. It's okay David. Very simple again, I have moved forward, there is a small line breaking, I'm going for the goal on this side, that ten hat seems to be the way to go. Uh, so I've moved that team up that way. We've got two Necron warriors in the middle who I'm going to probably say are going to die. However we do have our scarabs on this end who are charging down and being quite aggressive to these crudes. I don't see them living. And no. one Necron warrior behind them saying hi. So with that, let's move on to the shooting phase. So I'm going to engage this Necron Warrior. He's going to wrap fire into this crew because I kind of want them all guaranteed dead. Yeah, good call. Uh, we're needing three to Let's go one hit. And we're needing three to wound. Four wounds. You do get your four up. Yeah. Uh, no, because it's not runes. We're not going to count that as runes. Okay. He is dead. So we're going to go with our counter-attack Necron Warrior, he's going to target this Kruitz because I want him out of the way. Mm -hmm. He's not going to do it, so we'll go with our preferred enemy guy who really wish he rolled that one. Well, there you go. Preferred you enemy. And he does get <laughs> the hits and he is needing three to wounds. And that'll be him gone. Boop. Yeah, I then have two Necron Warriors here, one's going to target number three. I don't know what that is. It's a Fiona Pain. And he's going to target number two. <laughs> okay. And it'll be threes again to wounds. So that'll be a wound. A wound. Okay, so this is my Gorilla Specialist preferred enemy. Yep. So four up. He's okay. He's nailed it. I'm just going to check line of sights for this guy. In fact, I'll just go against these crew up here. Okay. So three step. Nope. And last, I'm going to fire rapid fire into this crew warrior here. For one hit. And threes to wounds. Oh. Nothing. Well, a bit lackluster this time for the shooting phase, but let's move on to the assault phase. So we've got our assault phase to go. We're going to go with our first scarab unit here, who's going to charge this crew warrior. Overwatch. For nothing. Uh, and kind of in, so that's fine. We're going to charge this one of full wounds into this crew warrior. Overwatch. For nothing. Uh, yeah, definitely. Super in. Super in. And we'll charge... Last one in. He is in too. He is in too. He just needs to get. Just want to say, contact. guys, earlier on I said five up cover save for that. It's a barricade, so four up cover save. Just one. Yeah. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, let's count dice. I believe you will strike first. So we're going to start with this uh, scarab swarm first onto the crew. You get strike first. Yep, so I am uh, three to hit. That's two hits. I am four to wound. Uh, wound. 
a six up save. What do you make? Unbelievable saves this game. Uh, I get five attacks, four for uh, regular and plus one for the charge. So I'm needing four to hit with three hits. I am needing four to win with one win. Uh, so t shirt save. Oh. No. So this crit goes down. Do you want to consolidate? See if you got off the board? Uh, yeah, I've got to consolidate now. One uh, inch. No. So he will not be getting off the board this turn. Uh, and then we'll move on to the next one. And we're going to do the next combat, which will be the scarabs here onto the screw. You get a strike first. You only get one attack though. Yeah, we accidentally rolled two there, so apologies for that, guys. Uh, so, yep, yeah, crew onto this one. It's a hit. It's nothing. Cool, I've got uh, technically 10 attacks back, but I'll do this twice. Uh, first one is forced hit. So, we have three hits. And then we are. Forced to win? Forced to wounds. Uh, yep, forced to win. So I didn't get anything with the first one. The second one. Gets two hits. One wound. <laughs> Open not to kill you because I'd probably like to stick about. Six up save. Ooh. No. So it does go down. So crips are dead. So you've got consolidations to do. Consolidation. First one. It's five inch. Just gonna jump into there. One with one wound. It's five inch as well, so he'll just crawl into there as well. And that'll be them. Let's recap your turn. So no bads, Necker on turn three there. A uh, couple of casualties to David, but still not quite enough. Uh, but a continuous march forward. The Scarabs are very close to infiltrating the camp. If I had scored a six in the Consolidate, I would have been able to book it, but not this time. Uh, with that, let's have a look at Tal turn three. So we finished off the movement for Tal, we basically moved everyone to get in his range of as many of these things, these scarabs, as yep. we can, and get as many as light as we can, as line of sight as we can. So some of the back guys are going to have to shoot down here at this scarab, as opposed to that one. Uh, moving on though, however, all my specialists have actually moved into the top of this building, just to get better line of sights, and they have moved back. I'm actually planning to assault move them behind here, possibly, to Good stop being shot at, and my crew squad up in that building have kept the same. Let's shoot and see if I can try and cripple the Necrons. So we're starting the shooting phase. My leader here is going to shoot straight down at this wounded Scarab. It's going to rapid fire. We get one hit and it's twos to kill. Go for it. And he's gone. That's a dead Scarab. It's strength five against toughness three. Um, so next, uh, so we've got clear line of sight. We're going to start with this guy on to that Scarab in there. Yeah, definitely. One hit, two is to wound, it's a wound, okay. so he's down to two wounds. Next guy in the conga line will repeat the same thing, so that is one hit, he's down to one wound, mm -hmm. and the last guy that can see him will see if he can take off his last remaining wound, two hits, uh, looking likely, and yeah, yeah, he's gone. he is gone. We've got the second group to come in a second. This squad's going to shoot next at this scarab, so we'll start down here. Force to hit. Whoa. Two's to take off wounds. So you're already down to one wound. Yep. Uh, next one is also in rapid fire range. No hits. Third one's in rapid fire range. We get one hit. Two's to kill. Oh no! And the last one is not in rapid fire, yep. so he gets one shot. Oh, he hits! Oh. It's a two! And we get gone. it. So you got it in the end. We got the scarabs just. Right, my expert shot is rapid fire into this first fire warrior. Uh, into this fire warrior? This uh, warrior. Yep. So he does hit. Oh. Don't catch up there. Okay, and threes to wind them. It's a wind. It's a wind. We'll get a four up save. Five up reanimation. And he's gone as well. He is gone. My preferred enemy is going to shoot at the second warrior. Yep. Both hit. That's one wound. One wound. Do I get a four up save? Nope. No. Nope. And a five up reanimation. Oh, oh. And I took out a uh, towel fire warrior while I was doing it. But I also die as well. Oh, yeah, he is actually alive. He just fell yeah. off the table. So this gun drone is going to shoot at your number three warrior with the preferred enemy. Yep. Fives to hit. 
nothing. Joe and B is going to do the same. We get one hit. We're three to wind you. It's a wound. Yep. Four up safe. And we'll be next. Nice. We're going to come to our crew squad who have been sitting here comfortable the whole game doing nothing. First two are going to shoot obviously at your um, preferred enemy guy. Yep. We're using the sniper rounds for no hits. And the second two will do the next. Two hits for sniper rounds and force to wound. Nothing. So that's an end to Tau Fire Warriors turn three, was it, Ross? It uh, was. Yeah, I keep getting my turns mixed up in this game. Fair enough. Um, it's the first time the Tau Fire Warriors decide to actually show up to the party. Yeah. They did the damage, did the damage. So we've now managed to also break Ross. So we're going to go into Necron Warriors turn four and we've got some break tests to take. So we're on the Necron turn four. Uh, I am broken now, so I had to do break tests. I thankfully passed all of them. Fantastic, that was the beginning of this turn. However, I'm still very, quite far away from the edge of the table. There's only one real way I'm gonna be able to make this, and that is to really sort of run my way off. Mm -hmm. So with that, I'm gonna basically do my movement phase. It might involve quite a bit of running, and we'll see where we end up. So we finished the Necron uh, movement and running phase. Yeah, I moved and ran everything. Uh, I've got one Necron warrior over here. Did fantastic, got a six inch run. And then I've got our team here running down the gauntlet. If they all can survive next turn and <laughs> none of them break, it'll be a Necron victory. Yeah. So it's all down to the Tau turn as we move into Tau turn four. Finished off the towel movement in towel turn four. We have just moved these guys up. Stayed the same. However, my crew, sorry Ross, my crew are actually moved down a little bit. I'm anticipating if I don't kill enough and you fail to get off, they're gonna charge you. Mm. They can't charge this turn because they're gonna rapid fire like mad. Yep. Down here, this little mini team has moved up so they can see through the windows of that building to shoot. And down here, I'm just, I've been cheesy. Yeah, this is a firing squad. Yeah, I'm, I moved out so you can't actually move within an inch, you know, to get past me. Yep. It's pretty bad. And yeah, you're, you're Necron Warriors for my, my target practice. Thanks. Let's uh, shoot them. So, all these guys can only see this poor Necron Warrior, so we're just going to shoot all 10 rapid fire shots at them. Mm hmm. So, we'll force to hit. Uh, it's okay. It's, it's not 100%. great. No, it's not. Well, okay. six misses. Six misses. So uh, we're now threes to win you. Only two. two. Oh, four up safe. Made them. Oh. Oh. oh my goodness. Okay, okay. So this little mini team's gonna fire next. We're gonna rapid fire from this guy onto your fire warrior here in the middle. Sounds good. Fire warrior, your warrior. So that's got. We get one hit. We get no wounds. Next fire warrior is only in range to rapid fire. This guy, I think that's your close combat, your uh, close combat, yep. Counter attack guy. Yep, counter attack. One hit. It's a wind. It's a wind. Four up save. Five up reanimation. And he is gone. Ooh. Now we have worked out yeah. if David kills one more model, it is impossible for me to win. Yeah, so it'll put me on five points, you could only achieve four. Yeah, unless kill your warlord, but that's not going to happen. And then my last guy in the mini team, he is in rapid fire range to shoot your preferred enemy guy. Yep. For one hit. For a wound. For a wound, four up save. Oh, uh, I'll try that again. Four up save. You Get make it. it. Gun drone onto the warrior. To let you know, I actually forgot, their guns are twin linked. I forgot twin linked the mm. whole game. Oh well, oh well. Uh, one hit. Now we start hitting. Uh oh. Threes to wind. Two wins. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, so he is gone as well. Well, David, do you want to punish me a bit more? Finish this off? I want to punish you a bit more. Right, okay. This gun drawn into this warrior. Yep. Twin linked. Now the oh, twin link no. just seems to happen. Oh no. Threes to wind. It's a wind. Yeah. Oh no. Uh, he's gone. So, yeah. 
Uh, I'll do these fire warriors in the building next. Well, they're but still. Oh no. They haven't <laughs> shot. Okay. Uh, they're all in rapid fire range, so we're just going to use the Feel No Pain guy onto the closest one. He hits. He wins. He saves. Preferred enemy next, number two. Same Necron Warrior. He wins. He saves. Not e today. Expert shot on the same warrior. He hits on threes, however. He doesn't wind. Okay, we've on to the crew. Uh, these two are going to rapid fire their crew pulse rifles yep. into this guy. We get one hit. We're only strength four. It's a wind. <clears throat> no. Okay, and the last two will rapid fire into this warrior. Say so three hits. Uh oh. It's no wounds. Oh. Oh. So that's the end of the shooting phase. I think it's game over. It's game. I'm going to call it, dude. I'm just going to quickly do break tests to see for hilarity if. Uh, and I'll leadership tension. I shouldn't fail loads of them. Uh, yeah, pass that one. And. Pass that one. So, nah, there's no way I'm gonna survive this, David. Well, even there's impossible for me to win. So, well done, David. Good job. Good game. Yep. Let's have a talk. Well, David, uh, that was quite a challenging kill team to say the least. Mm -hmm. I always find that uh, infiltrate the camp is quite difficult, especially for the attacker if you don't have the mobility. Certainly, like my scarabs, we're gonna get through there, but uh, then you turned around and. Uh, Dealt with them. Yes, uh huh. Which was uh, pretty good. The rapid fire just came out of nowhere. Um, it was cheeky. It was cheeky doing the yeah. whole keeping back and I have a 30 inches to your 24 inch guns. But why else would you play any other way with Tao? You yeah. play to your strengths in this game, don't you? Yeah. And that was one of my strengths, was my range, so. Yeah. Went perfection. It worked out quite well. Uh, certainly, your first two turns, I was looking a bit dicey. Oh. I was a bit like, oh my goodness, I might actually break through, and then rapid fire happens. Yeah. And that happened. And then rapid fire. And it was just <laughs> failure after failure. I thought I might get through that gauntlet. I was like, those five guys, they'll run. No. No. So, yeah. that happened. Well, I hope you guys did enjoy it. And yeah. um, your comments down below like, share, subscribe, and. Uh, We'll hopefully see you again soon on another Tabletop Assault Kill Team Battle Report.